Welcome. In this video, I want to introduce the Learn Programming with C++ video series. In this series, my goal is to teach you how to be a computer programmer, and particularly how to be a problem solver who can use computer to solve these problems. In this series, we're going to cover several topics where we talk about several aspects in computer programming. A lot of these things are the, are the things that you learn in a Computer Science 1 and Computer Science 2 course in addition to some data structures. So if you're an undergraduate student thinking of going into a Computer Science degree or Computer Information Systems degree or any other degree where you're required to do scripting or extensive programming, and particularly solve problems using a computer, then this video series is for you. The series can be divided into eight different topics. We'll first off talking about what are computers? What are programming languages? How do we even talk to a computer? How do we tell a computer what to do? It's very crucial to understand that before we even move on to actually trying to develop code. Then we'll go to basic programming and how do we handle information? How does the computer represent information inside of the computer? Then we'll talk about programming structures, which are the fundamentals to any kind of programming that we do. Then we'll go to reusable code. You write a piece of software, perhaps you would like to use it again in the future. Perhaps you want to give it to someone so they can use it as part of their project. So we'll talk about reusable code. Then we'll talk about memory. This is something that a lot of people sometimes struggle with when they're developing software with C++. Then we'll talk about a programming paradigm that it's used almost everywhere nowadays, and that is the object-oriented programming. We'll spend a lot of videos talking about what is object-oriented programming and all the aspects that come with it. Then we'll talk about some data structures, and then we'll end it up by talking a lot of advanced C++ topics. Everything we learn in this series is going to be covered using the C++ language. However, that doesn't mean that it does not apply to any of the other programming languages. You will be able to acquire this knowledge and then be able to transfer it to other programming languages. So the idea is that by the end of this series, if you were to now consider going into Python or Java or any other programming language, you can carry this knowledge over and it will be much easier for you to pick up one of these languages. So at the time that I post this introduction, I have already posted over 25 videos on this series. And one thing you might notice is that in the first two to three videos, the quality of the audio was a little bit low. And that's because I was still practicing and trying things with all this equipment but I've improved that quality I assure you so give me a break on just those first two videos and then things get much much better in the description below there's a link to a YouTube playlist that has all the videos in the right order that you should watch them feel free to share this link with anyone perhaps you know other people who are interested in programming or learning computer science send this to them right away maybe they find something useful in this series, okay? And of course, if you are interested, make sure you subscribe so you get the videos as I publish them. I plan to post them one or two videos per week until the series is done. And so if you're interested in this, make sure you hit like on this video, make sure you subscribe, check out the channel for other content. Perhaps there are other things that are related to computer science and programming that you see there that you might enjoy and that you might find useful. I plan to post some augmented reality stuff in the future, so check that out as well if you're interested in that. All right, so I see you guys on the next video. Be safe and peace out.